You're watching Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. This week we're introducing not just this one book that I'm holding up, but over 20 books and four sets of cards that come as a collection. And this is all pertaining to learning to read and write the Punjabi language. For ease of use throughout this Cover to Cover, I'll be holding up this one book from the set titled Punjabi Abhyas Pustak Pag Pehla, which is the first of a set of four books that help you to understand the characters and the way that words are formed in the Punjabi language. This entire collection is the work of Dr. Vrinder Pal Singh and has been produced and published by Atam Pargas Productions, from whom you can purchase this entire set online. Now, whether you're purchasing these to help the children or the younger people in your life learn to read and write Punjabi, or whether you're doing this for yourself, what you'll find with this particular set of books is a comprehensive amount of information that pertains to the Punjabi language, increasing your vocabulary, and most importantly, relating a lot of this to the Sikh way of life. And that is what makes this particular set of Gade quite unique. It can be quite pricey when you head over to the website and see exactly what's available. However, you don't have to buy the whole set. And of course, if you ever are on a trip into Punjab where this company is based, you can purchase it at a very, very, very reasonable price uh, in person from a number of different booksellers. Now, I'm not going to dive in to take a look at all of these individual books, but I am going to flick them open for you to start seeing what's involved. And we'll also take a look at the back cover of each of these books, which basically provides an overview of all of the different things you're going to get. Here you can see a number of the different books that are available in this collection. They traverse learning the Punjabi language as well as learning and relating to Sikh history and Sikh culture, as well as touching on topics like science and maths. As you can see, this is pretty standard format. They associate images and names of certain objects or individuals or organs or animals with each letter of the alphabet. But there is a difference with this set of Gade where they try to relate as many of the objects as possible to seek iconography or seek objects. So here is an example of some of the exercises available in the books that relate to seek philosophy and learning about the Sikh way of life and how it is still relating it back to learning the Punjabi language. The student is encouraged to try to write in Punjabi and to emulate what they are seeing and at the same time, they are learning about the Sikh way of life. Here is a look at some of the cards that we can see. Playing with these cards is quite straightforward and going through them, young children find it a lot easier to make up their own games and work out what it is they're playing with. Can't say I'm overly enamoured with the Hindi usage, but this has been created in Punjab, so it's trying to hit a quite wide market. There really is a plethora of material being produced and published, both online and in print, to help people to learn to read and write in the Punjabi language. And I think that's to be celebrated. I think the competition between these different publications is really good because it means that there's lots of people who actually want to buy this material, hence there's lots of it being produced. This particular set is one that myself and some of my peers here in the United Kingdom are finding is probably one of the best, most comprehensive sets available today and is one that we are advising any of the Gordore and Punjabi schools and Skalsa schools who work with us to pick up a copy of so that they can utilize it and bring it into their syllabus. 
Whilst many of the different books that you'll pick up on the Punjabi language and trying to learn it will focus solely on passing exams, this set of books has two aims. One, to increase your vocabulary and understanding of differing words and how to make up sentences accurately in Punjabi. And two, that relating Punjabi language to the Sikh way of life is a great way of helping particularly younger people understand more about this language and how they can adopt all of the different vocabulary they come across and utilize it in everyday life. I have gone through the entire set of these books myself and found them to be quite captivating and engaging. Moreover, I've introduced the young people in my life to them and they range from age five up to age 11. And we're finding that they're picking up these books themselves and wanting to go through them. It really does help though in their case that they're able to look at all 22 at once. So it's quite literally like they've got this giant treasure trove that's been unpacked in front of them. But more than the books, they are finding the cards incredibly captivating and engaging and they're using those to play with one another but to learn more at the exact same time, which is great. Individual workbooks or the entire set is available from Atam Pargas Productions online and offline at a number of different retailers. This entire set by Dr. Vrinder Pal Singh is quite something else. But we want to know what you think, so please leave us a comment below and share your thoughts on this work by Atam Pargas Productions. Join us again for another cover to cover here at Nojwani and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss another edition of Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. Mm -hmm.